All right, so I've got these all labeled. They are the sizes of the gaps that the paint bucket tool will fill. So uh, zooming in here, you notice that the paint that the circle isn't closed, and I can't use small, medium, but large works. So I can close it with the large gap, close large gaps onto the medium gap. So it's in closed figure, and it fills with the closed figure. So I'm going to open it just a bit. As you see, I took the eraser tool. Don't close gaps. It's not going to close gaps. Small gaps doesn't work. Close medium gaps. Medium gaps works. Medium gaps and large gaps will work on that. But just to show you the size, the range of size that it will um, fill and not fill. So the small gap tool is so small. Um, as you can see, the figure appears to be closed, but it's not. So I'm just selecting that line and just showing you that it's a not a um, filled tool. So I'm using the do don't close gaps. I use the small gaps. It works. And it's because the object is not closed all the way. That's why the don't close gaps will not fill that. And the range is extremely small. And this is a, uh, there's no gaps on this, so I can use the uh, don't close gaps. So, showing you the range, you've got the large gap, the large gap tool on the paint bucket tool will close that. The medium, it's just slightly, the small, buck, small one doesn't work, but medium does. Small gap, this is extremely small, that's where it is. So selecting my arrow tool. It appears to be closed, but it's not. And this has no gaps. It's a completely closed object. So the paint bucket tool will work perfectly fine on that. So that's the range.